Welcome to another episode of Power of Bourbon. And yes, we actually have Brian this episode, even though, what is it? We are four and a half hours in, and we've only been drinking for, well, Chug and I have been drinking for four and a half hours. Brian's been drinking for maybe an hour and a half. So, Because there were crying babies yes. for the other time, um, which has necessitated more bourbon. And now to Brian introducing what we're going to uh, review for you tonight. All right. So we blinded off a few earlier just to kind of get our, our palettes in, in line for tonight. And one of the ones we're looking at for tonight is one we actually, I would say it's kind of been a sleeper for all of us. Um, and then all of a sudden we got and we're like, wait, there, there, there's something to this. And which is why, why we're wanting to review. So as, I get to say this before anybody else says it. Uh, I got ripped for not putting it in my video, which I'll link above. Uh, <laughs> oh, you did it yourself this time. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I mean, we were going to. Yep, I knew you guys. Oh, were you should also it. you should also link the my middle shelf challenge that also has this in it at the end. Yep. Yeah. And the so, bottle is. So without further ado, for those who are watching, uh, Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof. Um, this is one of those, um, you know, I just honestly wasn't sure on. I saw it, I, I was just intrigued, and I was like, you know, why not? I'll pull the trigger on this. And uh, wait, uh, Sorry to interrupt the story, but I think you sent us a photo, and we were like, yes, bye. You were. You, yes, I, yeah, I photoed it out. I was like, hey, yeah. you know, I was just trying to decide, is this worth you know, spending the money, um, you know, Jack Daniels isn't something I usually am going to spend about $60 on, uh, you know, you kind of just don't think that way always, but I was like, eh, you know, single barrel, it's a barrel proof coming in at uh, 120, this one's uh, 129.1 proof. $60 is a lot to spend on a bourbon that you're just going to mix with Coke. Who has the, probably the most restrictive bourbon budget. Um, you know, six, spending, if I'm going to spend $60 on something, I want, you know, I, I'm hopefully going to be pretty sure on it. So spend the $60 on it. And I'm just going to tell you right now, spoiler alert. If you find one of these for 60, go. All right. Game over. Let's Thanks. Do it. For coming <laughs> so, out. Wow. So, so, so you don't have to watch the rest of the review. You don't have to watch the rest of the review. You don't right have to watch the rest of the review. Thanks, Ryan. I'm just he, telling you right now. Boom. He could so have bought a he could have bought a 1910. He could have bought a 1920. He's going for the Jag Nails barrel proof. That's all you need to know about the review. Yeah, and boom, for those right of there. you that have, know the channel, know that if you want to trust Brian's palate, go ahead. He's the one that sends Henderson and other things. If you want to hear what TJ and I have to say, stick around. <laughs> and it depends on the night if Chuck agrees with what I say or not, but we'll try. No, for you, we'll, hey, we'll, but that, you know, diversity we, is good, TJ. I and mean, we yeah. certainly have that sometimes. And most you, of the time you're wrong. But. So I do get some ethanol notes. Yeah. You get a little bit of ethanol in the nose. We say all different ethanol notes. Like an A B note and a B flat. What are we what are you talking here? Ethanol with vanilla, charcoal, and a little bit of sweetness. Maybe some caramel yeah. in there. I was gonna say a little little nuttiness too. And I think that comes through with the sweetness. So it's almost like this roasted roasted peanut. Yeah. I, I'd say for me at least, uh, the charcoal is probably the predominant note on the nose more so than the others i feel like i get yeah charcoal but then a lot of eth i do get a lot of ethanol on it what's the remind us of the proof brian it's like one uh 129 quite 130 yeah. yeah so it's yeah. up so you know a lot of your jack daniel single barrel barrel proofs are going to come in around probably around one 130 you know plus or minus a couple so on the nose i'm going to give it a three and a half i think it's delightful you got to get pat I i'll say for a caveat you have to get past the ethanol note because it is going to burn your nostrils a little bit but there's a lot back there and it's it's very good i was i was actually going to say the same thing um with the ethanol note like some people they get that ethanol and it's an immediate turn off um uh, with this i think persevere through the ethanol note um because there's a lot more there that this has to offer what were you going to say there uh chuck I was just quoting Anchorman. It's pungent. It stings the nostrils. 
yeah, sorry. I'm in a three and a half as well. I like okay. the sweet note that comes through. I do get you what you're saying, TJ. I think that's it's a little what I'd say like proof forward. Yeah. Um, with the ethanol, mm-hmm. but I still getting complexity beyond that. Yeah. So. And then on the palate, I get vanilla, caramel, and I get uh, toasted marshmallow is what I'm going to say. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say like sweet campfire. Yeah. Um, it, it, it is I feel like what I get on that on that palate. It's just I get a little bit of sweet, that toasted marshmallow, kind of campfire-ish. Yeah. Campfire. That's how I describe the palate. Mm-hmm. Sweet campfire. Yeah. yeah, I'm still getting like a toasted nut with some a little bit of sweet in the background. So um honey roasted almonds. Yeah, that's really good. And as far as ranking it, I'm also at a three and a half on the, the palate. I think it's great. A lot of flavor, a lot of complexity. It's very nice. I concur. It's lasting. It's complex. Um, I'd almost, I'm going to go four on the palate. Mm. It's lengthy. It, it has quite a few of these different notes. Um, I'm going four. Uh, I'm going to go three and a half on the palate. Ooh. Um, I, I enjoy the palette. It's really good. I don't think it's quite a four, um, but very enjoyable. I can easily see how Chuck would, would bump those up to a four, but I think I'm going to three and a half. All right. All right, Chuck, where are we going on the finish? I think this is a delightful finish. So mm-hmm. I think it gives you some of those pepper notes. Um, probably come in a little bit just from the proof point um but i think that nuttiness and and sweetness still comes through a little bit of smoke or charcoal filter what you know mm-hmm. process whatever where, where that's coming from um comes through as well it's not overpowering but it's lingering it's lasting which is what i like on the finish so it's it gives you a little bit of everything and it doesn't overpower it so i'm i'm at a four and i agree with all those notes but i get a little bit of a ethanol burn and ethanol forwardness on it that's gonna bump it down to a three and a half for me i think it's your great big boy pants on oh my gosh i can't i'm trying to lose weight sir so i need my little boy pants I, i'm just gonna stop tj right there because he just doesn't matter in this conversation this yes. is a check yes. and drive conversation yes. and see your way team, out of it yeah 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 so yeah this is a this is a b and c conversation you just tj out okay um yeah, this is a four finish. Uh, it, you know, it's 130 proof, and it while it is proof forward on the nose, it is not proof forward on the finish. Okay. This is a delightful 130 proof finish. You get pepper; it lingers right in here. Uh, a little, bit, maybe a little bit less on the tongue. If you were to be really picky, I feel like you get a little more throat linger rather than tongue tongue linger on the finish. But the sweet notes come through. You get pepper. The ethanol is the ethanol is subtle. I feel like compared to the pepper that comes through on this finish. Um, the first, I, I mean, gosh, I, I remember the first time I tasted this thing. I opened it up, tried it, and I was just shocked at how it, at that palate. My gosh, now I'm rethinking my palate just to be a four, um, but the palate was delightful. I said four. The finish, I was just shocked at how well the finish had kick but just at 130 proof was not overpowering got the sweet on there i'm willing to do this for the the final the final assessment everything like that should you buy should you get it at the bar should you hunt i know what the answer is and i'm gonna say chuck and i both agree with brian and brian what should you do with this bottle um i will hunt at msrp um there's a place here in town uh, yep. You know, my bottle is mm, about a third gone. You know, I bought this for like 55 to 60 right in there. I'm very happy with the purchase at that price point. There's a place in town uh, that has like two or three of those on the shelf still at $99.99. I, I'm not paying, I don't feel yeah. like this is $100 territory. I don't think this is $89 territory. Um, yeah, what I would think- I go up to? I think if you can find this for $75 or cheaper, 
Yes. It, and you don't have a, a Jack Daniels barrel proof on your shelf, get it. Uh, yeah. Without a doubt. Well, and if you don't have if you don't have a high proof, like if you don't have a little book, if you don't have you know something else that's gonna that's gonna be around that hundred and thirty proof mark, like, and you want to venture into that territory, I think this is something that's generally available everywhere. No, but if you shop around, if you do a little bit of hunting, you should be able to find this, and this is a great hundred and high 120s right at 130 proof um this is a great way to venture into um that area so I, this is definitely like often overlooked like i've gone into Benny's the last few times and they've had single barrel selects just sitting on the shelf um the one the place that i picked mine up from they've had had it on sale for less than 55 dollars for three months um so it's wow. like people see the Jack Daniels and they just pass it, as opposed to a stag junior that you could never come across. Right. Um, it, this might be better. If you don't have a Jack single barrel, whether it's barrel select, which is 90 proof or single barrel, give it a shot. It's not your Jack old Jack seven that everybody's used to seeing on the shelf. It's good. It shows you what Tennessee has to offer without those traditional dickle notes that a lot of people oh are scared of oh my yeah i know and chuck chuck's like oh we said the dickle word blah blah, blah. Yeah. but it gives you something it shows what tennessee is capable of and for all those crazy uh bourbon people guess what it's still technically freaking bourbon it does not violate any of the bourbon laws or anything like that it's just filtered through charcoal it, so it doesn't the filter step. through charcoal though like technically nope that does not violate no? it from bourbon that just really? makes it a hundred percent to follow the tennessee law so tennessee passed a law that says to be tennessee bourbon mm. which is what or tennessee, tennessee whiskey, whiskey it has to be filtered through the Lincoln County process, which is charcoal filtered, and has to be done in Tennessee. But technically, according to all the bourbon rules, there is nothing that says a bourbon that is filtered through charcoal is not still a bourbon. So Jack is bourbon, but uh, bourbon isn't Tennessee whiskey. Is So, you know, a, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square or or vice versa or whatever it works yeah. out. There's some people that have very strong opinions about yes. that. But at the end of the day, it's a good pour. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy that. Don't get caught up in don't get caught up in the garbage. If it's a good pour, it's a good pour. Go for it. All right. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Uh let us know. Have you tried a Jack Daniels uh single barrel or barrel select? If not, why are you waiting? So see you next time. Stay neat. Power burn.